y'all what's up it's your girl um so today y'all um i'm working on my bridesmaids boxes um i kind of already started and i was like oh my gosh i haven't been recording like i was like i really wanted to document my wedding process and i realized i wasn't recording um but good thing i didn't finish um it's still a very much a works in the progress um yeah so i wanted to show you guys my bridesmaid boxes and what i have going on so far um i had already asked my unofficially asked my friends sisters um my girls to be a bridesmaid because i wanted to get um their answer first before i made the boxes because you know this stuff ain't cheap so let me show you let's get into the boxes so it, um i got these boxes from amazon um they're pretty much like really cheap boxes they're not like the fancy ones with the um magnetic claps they pretty much just fold and um it's really just because like they're gonna throw these boxes away so that's that you know okay so let me open this so here's what it looks like on the inside um got this box from amazon it came with a pack of like i think like 12 or something like that um i have okay so let me just go over where i got this from so this right here is a um like a jewelry hoarder like a jewelry holder like travel size let me open it yeah so this is a travel um storage for jewelry which i thought was so cute i saw it on aliexpress um this is like their it was supposed to be like a white but it seems like it's more so like an off-white which is still so cute they were about like four dollars um four dollars some change so i got this which i'm also going to put some um initials right here i'm gonna put some initials right here on the um using my cricut so it's gonna be super cute um so yeah like you know when you travel with jewelry um and i, I don't think a lot of people have like really organizers for jewelry you kind of just put it in like the suitcase and it gets tangled and lost and stuff so i thought this was really cute for um travel and also very inexpensive and that's kind of like my goal for um this for my wedding is to like you know keep everything kind of budget friendly um and always to research um you know like more inexpensive options and stuff like that i also got these from nordstrom um it came in a pack of i believe 12 um this is the rose all day candy from Strickerfina which is super cute um yeah it's actually rosé flavored but there's no alcohol see non-alcoholic and it's really good um so i thought that was a cute treat um i got this um pink moscato this is the um shutter shutter is it shutter yeah so this is the shutter home pink moscato I think I got this from Target. Yeah, I got this from Target. I also got it in a pack of 12. Wait, I think I got four. Yes, also got this in a pack of 12. Um, and I got these labels from Amazon. They had like different kind of phrases. Um, I thought this suited better because my bridesmaids already knew they were going to be bridesmaids. So this is really not a surprise but a surprise so yeah i thought this was cute and then um got these candles can't say i well i can't say i do without you um it was three dollars at target if you didn't know target has a um target has a bridal section i want to say in a dollar store so they have a lot of different things I actually posted a TikTok um, about that, like for all the things they had. Got these candles, um, and I also got something else. Oh, I also got these candles, which said together um, is better. 
I don't know if this wasn't this was the other candle that they had for um three dollars and um so and they smelled really good yeah so I also got this for three dollars also um so I got a mixture of this one and the other one uh, mainly because there wasn't a lot of the other one here is the um actually did have the um I had put it in the trash bag but um I actually did have the paper or the vinyl that I used I actually messed up on this one because um with this type of material of vinyl you have to add more pressure um so it was hard it was hard for me to weed it because I didn't have I didn't add another pressure like another pressure so for example um this dial um it kind of just adds like it's like a pressure dial so the depending on the needle this needle would use for paper you know you don't need much um pressure to cut paper so this is like lower pressure all the way um to like strong ass pressure of the needle so and it kind of tells you like what material you would use this type of pressure for so paper being the lowest and then like poster board being like the strongest um, pressure you would need it for so originally I had it set to vinyl um, which did do its job but because this is like a metallic type of material um, I needed to put it to vinyl plus this is vinyl plus so it just cuts it a little deeper it just adds a little bit more pressure and that actually did the job so with my Cricut I'm still learning this is a learning process for your girl um, but boy does it take time like it takes so much time to do this stuff um, I'm also might make labels for um, my fiance's groomsmen boxes I asked him if he wanted me to make some names to put on his boxes and he was like yeah I guess and I'm like okay um, so I'm like yeah I get to use my Cricut so um, also the crinkle paper that is in the boxes from Amazon so a lot of stuff from Amazon some stuff from the store so yeah um, I'm gonna continue to work on the boxes um, right now I'm I'm just getting all the boxes together and situated I also have like these bridal info cards I'm gonna put in there that I made they're downstairs I'm gonna show them I'm gonna show them I'm gonna, let me go get them all right y'all so this is the card i made on canva obviously i'm covering the place location just for safety purposes so i made this on canva and i had it printed out um at walgreens so it's printed on like photo paper um which i realized i could have had also had this printed at um on like cardstock at fedex or like um office depot and things like that but i printed it on this paper um, so yeah, all my bridesmaids will, maid of honors will get this card. Um, yeah, so on here it just has to dress the colors, um, the date, the duties, uh, and then just like something simple. Also, everyone that's going to be in the wedding, I know I have a lot of bridesmaids. <laughs> I just have a lot of loved ones that I really wanted by my side, but anyways. Um, yeah. This is what it looks like so i don't know how people do arts and crafts your girl is tired i've been up here for hours doing these boxes i just about done finish um let me show you so once again a lot of mess so i you know filled all the boxes with what was necessary um went ahead and did the htv kind of nervous about these HTV because also like the jewelry boxes are like faux leather um but I did these on my Cricut I can do a tutorial if you guys would like but also there is a million tutorials on how to use HTV um which I think it stands for heated vinyl so I got my heat press out um yeah so I have the big old heat press Cricut heat press right here um, so I'm going to, I watched a video on YouTube on uh, how to, what temperature to press it on and for how long and things like that. Also, this is the machine I have. It's a big old 
cricket thing it's actually too big for my little project but um it works perfect okay so i followed um the tip that i saw on tiktok when working with faux leather and htv and um it actually came out pretty well let me get into the light with it yeah so this is a htv oh my phone fell so i did it on 305 temperature with 10 minutes um with putting parchment paper over it i just folded the parchment paper in half because it was really thin and then i also um uh after i took it off i after i took off the little um plastic that goes over this i put the parchment paper back on it and pressed it for like a second or two just to make sure that it's really on here and it looks really good I'm glad I went with HTV instead of the vinyl because it's going to actually make sure that this actually can, you know, stick really well. Looks good. I'm going to do the others and I'll show the finished product. 